hello my my beauty queens welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be hauling the items that i purchased from the sephora spring savings sale so without further ado let's get started so yeah i did two separate orders online so yeah let's get started so the first thing or one of the things that i purchased is the shiseido facial cotton um pads now i love these i always purchase them um, when they're on sale and i think i still have like two left but i really enjoy these i really like the way they feel and yeah you can cut them in half so yeah shiseido facial cotton wipes i also wanted to try the sunshine skin tint by milk makeup which is a clean brand i've been really enjoying clean makeup lately so this is the color that i purchased right here so this is the shade in deep so hopefully so this is the shade deep so hopefully this work if not i will be exchanging it or i will take it back because I am not afraid to take something back or exchange it. So yeah, so the Milk Makeup Skin Tint in the shade Deep. Right here. Another item that I purchased, which I'm super excited to try, is the Patrick Ta Major Scope Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. Now I got the deepest shade, which is She's Chiseled. And that's what that looks like right there. I'm going to open it up because I will be using this really, really soon. If you guys would like to see a review on this, let me know. The packaging is very, very pretty. And yeah, here's what the... Okay, how do I open this? Okay, you guys. I gotta, okay, there you go. And so this is what it looks like right here. So yeah, so you have the... So yeah, this is what it looks like right here. So you have the cream with the little lid on there and then you have the powder up top so i'm super excited to try this out can't wait and this is the deepest shade and she's chiseled such a cute name by patrick ta and so yeah so i'm super excited can't wait to try that baby out another thing that i purchased from um sephora during the spring sale <clears throat> now we all know Westman Atelier is pretty expensive, so I purchased three things from Westman Atelier. Um, I already own a few things as far as a highlighter, foundation stick, and so yeah. So I wanted to try some other things, and why not? Why well, I could get 20% off. So one of the things that I purchased from um, Westman Atelier is the Lit Up Highlighter Stick in the shade Brulee and that's what it is right there we're going to open this baby up i'm super excited pretty packaging it's also a clean brand and this is what the color looks like right here and i will swatch it so this is the shade brulee and westman atelier lit up stick highlighter so yeah that's going to be very beautiful for this spring and this summer and even fall and winter, this is going to be very beautiful. So I can't wait to put this baby on my skin. And like I said, I like the um, I like the um, packaging. It's gold. It's very cute. Magnet, magnetic, should I say? So yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. Also from Westman Atelier, I purchased the Vital Skin Foundation Stick in a shade. 10 11 so yeah i wanted to use this for the highlighter so yeah so um before in another video when i first purchased my westman atelier foundation sticks i purchased the contour stick which was the deepest shade i can't remember the name but it was not deep it did not show up on me so i took it back and i um i didn't order anything else so i was like why not try the westman atelier foundation stick as far as you know being a highlighter so i got the shade 11 like i said we're gonna open this baby up still very cute packaging magnetic and this is what it looks like right here so i'm going to use this as an under eye highlight so this looks like it's going to work out beautifully westman atelier shade 11 and the foundation stick 
Moving right along, the last thing that I purchased from Westman Atelier is the Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in Doo Doo, Doe Doe, however you want to say it. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. So I have one other blush by Westman Atelier and Pop It, which I very, 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 very been loving and enjoying. So this is the color Doo Doo. Dodo or doo doo or however you want to say it and this color been sold out and it finally came in stock thank goodness why we could um why i was able to get 20 percent off and that's what that looks like right here can't wait to try this very nice um the pop it is very blendable very beautiful um yeah so and it lasts so those were the things that i purchased from westman atelier where i can get 20 percent off and then one other thing that's left in my box is the so this is my first time trying the tower 28 brand um the power duo so i was um able to purchase the lip and cheek set and so the uh the cheek i guess the cheek blush or the cream cheek blush is power hour and sun kiss terracotta and then the lip gloss is cashew rosy brown and this is what it looks like right here i'm going to open it for you so this is the um this is the blush right here so yeah i think i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this it. it's very work appropriate everyday appropriate any kind of function appropriate so yeah i think i'm gonna get a lot of um use out of this blush which is power hour and then also this um lip gloss that it came with is called what did i say it's called it is called cashew so this is what it looks like right here so cashew and power hour so yeah i can't wait to try this out right here Hopefully, <laughs> you guys can see it. So, Cashew Power Hour. And it came in a duo. So, this is $26. And then if you just purchased the blush, it was $20. So, I was like, why not try the lip gloss? I've been hearing good things. And then also the blush and Power Hour, which I wanted to try. All right. So, that's enough of that. I'm going to um, put this back in here. And we're going to move on. Oh, caught it gonna move on to the next box so on my next box right here I purchased I was eager to try the LYS beauty secure skin gripping serum foundation I mean I'm sorry gripping skin serum primer so I have the powders I have the foundation so I was like why not try the primer and this is so cute like the little um gold triangle shape right there and then this is what the primer look like, you guys. I will let you know how I like the primer. If it smoothed my skin, if it blurred my skin, if it broke me out. Or, yeah, I'll just let you guys know how I feel about this LYS Beauty Primer, which is a black-owned brand, which is a clean brand at Sephora. Moving right along, I also wanted to try the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. Now, I was kind of stuck on the shades because I ordered this online, but I picked up WN124 Sienna Deep, and this is what it looks like right here. So, hopefully, this match. And like I said, if it don't, I will be returning or exchanging, should I say. So, yeah, this is what it looks like right here. So, the match looks very promising. So, I will, coming up here, we'll be reviewing the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. As I'm getting older, I'm starting to like light foundations, you know, and then I can always go in with my handy dandy Kevin Aquan skin sensual enhancer, you know, cream to uh, cover any darkness or any discoloration or any, you know, hyper pigmentate, hyper pigmentation. <laughs> spots or whatever so yeah so i'm really starting to like lighter foundations and then i'll just cover as needed but don't get me wrong i still love my full coverage foundations but far as the spring and the summer i do like a more lightweight natural skin but better kind of look also one other foundation that i purchased 
was the Prism Skin Caring Glow by Givenchy. And I purchased the shade 6N480. Now, I don't know if this is too dark. When I was on a website, the 6W430, if I'm not mistaken, it looked a little too light and a little too yellow. So I just went up a shade, which is 6N48. And that's what that looks like right here. 6N48. I don't know if you guys can see it if my camera picking it up. But yeah, let me see, turn it around. 6N48. So I don't know if this is too dark, but I did think the um N, I mean the W430 was too light. So I will let you guys know if you want to see a review and tutorial, please let me know. The Givenchy Prism Librum Skin Glowing foundation so i'm pretty sure this should work i hope it worked because I, like i said i thought that 6w430 was too light for me and especially it's about to be spring and summer and the sun is going to be out so i know i'm gonna get a little darker so another thing that i purchased during the sephora spring savings event is the um danessa myricks Cream color metallic liquid pigment for lip, cheek, and eye color. Now, I own one other one called Rustic, and I thought it was very pretty. Like, it looked very pretty on my lids, very pretty as a blush. I really didn't like it too much as a lipstick or a lip gloss or anything like that because it was a little drying. But as far as my eyelids and my blush, it was very, very nice. So, I picked up one more of those, and the color that I purchased was Celebration. And this what this looks like right here, a nice everyday color, work appropriate, everyday appropriate, any occasion appropriate. So we're going to swatch this baby for you and see what it looks like. So I'm just now swatching it too. So yeah, this is celebration. So it's just like a brown color. So yeah, this is a brown, nice little color you could put all over the lids and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I'm going to like it. Once again, a Danessa Myricks Cream Color Metallic Liquid Pigment Lip, Cheek, and Eye Color in Celebration. All right, moving right along. I purchased another... Wipe my hands. Moving right along, I purchased another... Um, the Sensual Skin Enhancer by Kevin Aquan and SX16. Now, this was on the um, Sephora website, and you know it's normally 48 bucks. Then they had it on sale for 14 bucks, and then I was able to get an additional 20% off, so I was happy about that. So, this is the SX615, and it's not too much deeper than the SX15, which I always use to color correct. So, yeah, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And yeah, so nor and then I went back on the website because I'm like, I should have ordered another one because mainly this is what I mostly use to color correct. And then other stuff that I purchase, I always try to use them. But I really like this because it takes only a tiny bit and it's just quicker for me to use. But yeah, SX16 and a skin enhancer. And this is what that looks like right here. So it looks very, very similar to the 15. So I went on to purchase another one. And then it had already went up to $28. So I'm still thinking about getting it. But I'm kicking myself in the butt. Because I'm like, why didn't I get two of these when they were 14 bucks? And I was able to get 20% off. So now they're 28 bucks, But I could still get the 20% off. So I'm thinking about it as we speak right now. Another thing that I purchased from the Sephora Spring Sale event, and um, this is my first Milk Highlighter. This is also a clean brand. So by Milk Makeup, the Flex Highlighter Illuminator Flex, and I picked up the shade Bronze or Glazed. <laughs> I picked up the shade Glazed. And here's what that looks like right here. I heard really good things about these highlighters, so hopefully everything is true. This is the deepest shade, and this is the shade Glaze, and it's described as a bronze highlighter, which is very beautiful. So I heard super, super good things 
about the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter. So I hope they all are true because I'm excited to use this highlighter. Moving right along, I picked up a Paula's Choice Effoliant Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Effoliant. Psychotic Acid is for all skin tones. It's supposed to unclog and shrink enlarge, enlarge pores, smooths, and even skin tones. And it's a lightweight liquid, absorbs quickly into the skin. So yeah, it says, so the directions is once or twice daily, apply over face and neck with a cotton pad. Do not rinse for daytime. Always follow with a sunscreen. And here's what we're looking like right here. So I will let you know how I like this. I saw this on a couple YouTube reviews. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I want to try this. Like I said, I'm all into, you know, skincare. Even though I love my makeup and everybody that know me knows I love my makeup. I still love for my skin, if I'm not wearing makeup, to look nice and healthy and you know that now that I'm getting older, I want my um, pores unclogged, especially from this makeup, and then my enlarged pores to be shrunken. So yeah, and smooth and even skin tone. So we will see. I will let you guys know how this effoliant by Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting with Psychotic Acid um, reacts to my skin. All right, and I just got one more thing. Well, two more things left. One is a sample. So one more thing that I picked up was the OS Turn Up The Base Versatile Foundation Powder. And this is what we look like right here. So I already own some loose powders. Already own, um, what else I own by, um, oh, a primer and stuff like that. Oh, and a makeup remover that I've really, really been enjoying. I'm trying to think, should I pick one of those up? The ones that you just spray and it um you know it melts the makeup off and then you go in either with a baby wipe or you wipe your face but anywho so the os so the only thing i was a little uh confused because the shade that i purchased after this shade is only two more shades left so i purchased the shade deep four which is a deep rich neutral rosy undertone and that's what it looks like right here. But when I opened it up, it looks way, way lighter than what it looks like. Um, than what it looks like right here. So after this, they had deep five, which was just neutral, and then they had deep six. And I can't remember the claims of that color. So if this deep four don't work, then I guess I'm gonna try deep five neutral. But yeah, when I opened this up, and even like the model that they have on the um Sephora website is like way darker than what the powder look like like she's my skin tone so we will see but anywho so the packaging right here is very pretty i like the red packaging got the os for one size on the back right here you see deep four now when i opened it up it doesn't look too deep but we will see so this is deep four right here and like i said after this it's only two more um shades deep five which is um neutral and then deep six which is rich new deep rich neutral if i'm not mistaken and then the shade that i purchased is deep four neutral with rosy undertone so we will see how this baby act and if i have to exchange it for a deeper shade we're going to swatch this one if i have to deep um exchange it for a deeper shade i will but this is what the color looks like. So like on my finger, it looks a little promising. I don't know. And then um, I'm going to swatch it. So yeah, it might work. It just, I don't know. It just looked um, lighter to me. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So yeah, I'm thinking it's going to work. But it just looks lighter in the pan. And like I said, after this shade, it's only two more shades left. And this is deep four. So let me go, um let me know if you picked this up. Let me know what shade you picked. Yeah, and just let me know. All right, my my beauty queens. That concludes my Sephora savings event haul. Let me know if you picked up anything. Let me know if I'm missing something that you guys think is really really good that I need to pick up while I can get twenty percent off. And until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the notification bell. Stay safe. 
Stay well. Peace out.